Hi, how are you? Vladimir Rybakov here from Traders Academy Club. In this video I would like to talk about one of the most popular and favorite indicators among traders, especially the new traders in the trading world. I'm talking about the moving average. So in this video I would like to cover all you have to know about the moving average plus to give you very valuable trading tips. Ready? So let's begin. Before we dig into the deep water, let's start to understand what is the moving average. So first of all, the moving average is a trend indicator. It would work perfectly visually, yeah? It worked perfectly in trending market conditions and it will have zero value in ranging conditions. Well, it will help you to see that there is no trend. There is consolidation right? or range, uh, but it would definitely not help you make trading decisions. Uh, the very basic definition of the moving average is the average value of X period. So if you want the average value of 14 days, you would want to use moving average 14. You got it correct. There are several types of moving average. SMA, simple moving average, EMA, exponential moving average, smooth and linear weighted moving average. They uh, all are moving average, but the mathematical calculation is slightly different between them. The most common ones are EMA and SMA. Here are the several things you need to know about the moving average before you start using that. Each of them I will explain separately in depth. Uh, the bigger the moving average, the bigger the trend it refers to. You do not need several moving averages on the charts to have a better read of the trend. That's a very, very serious thing. Many traders fail into that. Use multiplier of two or higher between the moving averages you use in case you use more than one. And I repeat, you do not need many. Uh, cross of moving average do not guarantee you uh, any huge moves to come of 100 or thousands of pips. And very important one, multi time frame usage of moving average will help you to find more reliable trends to trade. So let's begin with the first one. The bigger the moving average, the bigger the trend it refers to. Take a look on this image. This is the moving average of 10. Look what happens when the moving average changes the slope from down to up, from up to down, from down to up, up to down, and down to up. Look at the sizes of the moves from high to low on each of the time the slope changes. The moves are way smaller than if you take a look on moving average of 100. Now suddenly you get yourself huge moves. So the bigger the number is, the bigger the trend it represents. And if you go back to the logic of the moving averages that I explained at the beginning, you will understand how logical it is because the bigger the number you take, the bigger the period you refer to, the bigger the volume of the average it will be. So uh, the um, bigger the number, the bigger the trends, the moving average would represent. It's very important, as you would see, many traders uh, 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 change the moving average. Today they use 100, tomorrow they use 5, the day after they use 23. And they are so excited because they see that uh, if it crosses or if it bounces or if it turns, they have better uh, chances. Every moving average, every single moving average, when you look backwards, would show you sometimes where it bounced beautifully, where it crossed beautifully, and sometimes where it failed. Every moving average, because every moving average represents different size of a trend, different period. So, of course, among all the charts you see, you would find some that will fit in these numbers. Okay, it's very, very important to understand that and don't uh, uh, um, try to figure out what number is the best for you before you understand its logic. And what trends do you want to trade, right? If you are scalper, you don't want to use the moving average of 200, for example. But if you are a long-term trader, you don't want to rely on moving average of five days. It will mean nothing for you and for your uh, needs. Okay, so very, very important because in different forums or everywhere online, you would see traders 
begging, like, I have the best moving average system, I have the best moving average system, and so on and so on. Uh, I have 63, I have 55, I have 182. Come on. <laughs> right? There are am the amount of strategies and ideas traders come up with moving average is pretty much the same amount like the traders themselves, right? Uh, uh, so before you are rushing to decide, is it, uh, am I going to use 20 or 21 or 22 or 25 or even 30? You have to understand they will represent pretty much the same trend. Okay, it's very, very important to understand that. So before we move on to the next very valuable point, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you are new to that. Just remember, when you do subscribe, just allow the, uh, enable this ring button so you get notifications when uh, I have my new videos uploaded for you. And if you enjoy my, my work, please leave your comment in the comment section below. Share this video with anyone you would like and you believe who could find it beneficial, hopefully to help more traders in the community. Now here is the number two. You do not need several moving average on the charts to have better rate of trends. Many, many traders think that uh, 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 if I put more moving average or more different indicators, I will have better read. The answer is no. What you will do is you you will kill your picture and you would have harder times to make any kind of decision. That's the truth. Okay, think about it very simple way. You are working in your office and you put your diary, like I have here. You put a phone on it. Or you start to put diary and books and food and extra, 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 extra things. Where do you think you would have more effective work? or clearer, uh, better opportunity to focus and to work uh, uh, um, to make your task. Of course, the more organized and clearer your uh, uh, environment is, your area is. Same with your charts. The more you put on it, the harder it becomes to read. Especially if you use indicators that tell you the same story. If you use the indica different indicators that uh, uh, basically should choose should show you different things, it makes sense, right? It, 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 it's understandable. I don't know if it makes sense, but it's understandable. But when you start to put many moving average, it will make nothing for you. Just will make it harder to read for you, confuse you more, and make the, the chances that you would move to something else tomorrow just bigger. Uh, so uh, take a look on this picture and take a look on this picture. Is the trend really different? The same trend, right? Does the fact that I have several moving average on this image makes it clearer than I have here? No. When I see the price crossing too much, I know there is no real trend. And I know that if I look at these crosses, all these ugly crosses, or just look here, it's the same. So why do you really need so many moving average on your charts? You definitely don't. You could use two, you could use three, but you don't need. I, I saw so many traders use 10 and 15 what are you trying to create? A beautiful chart or a, a strategy that will hopefully make you money? If it's just to make a beautiful visual chart to impress someone, okay. But if it's a strategy that will help you to make money, then it's a different story. You don't, not, you don't need so many lines or colors on your chart, okay? Many traders fall into the look. Oh, wow, look at these colors. That looks good. What's this indicator? First of all, understand what stands behind it. The next one, if you do use two or uh, uh, three moving averages, you definitely want to use multiplier of two or higher. So what do I mean by that? Many traders uh, uh, um, use two close moving average, eight, 10, 12, 15, 17, 18, 20, too close to each other. That will not help you. Why? Because the closer the number to each other, the same trend it refers to. Moving average of eight and moving average of 10 will not give you too much different information as it refers to the same, pretty much same size. If you take a look on 20 and 40 or 50, that's different because it's a value of last 20 days, last 40 or 50 days, it's twice the size. That might help you 
Okay, so take a look here on this picture when the moving average are too close to each other, they don't help you. They don't provide you with any extra information. Besides of looking good, they will make nothing to you, nothing for you. And take a look on this picture. When the moving average here is 10, 20, and 50, just for example, okay, at least multiplier of two between them. So how does that help you? First of all, just visually understand clearer pictures, but also, and mainly, it creates trading zones for you. When the price goes above moving average and comes back, you have the zone. This zone is the distance between your moving average, okay, here. And when the price bounces back, you know you are in a very strong zone and there is a good chance you would see continuations from these areas okay so it basically makes you some a, a bit wider clearer dynamic resistance uh, um, of prices okay and when you when you go down and you visit such zones over and over again there is a good chance you would see these bounces continuing well of course in case the trend is real because if it would be in consolidation it will not help you as well uh, so this is why it's very very important to use the multiplier of two or even higher okay um, and this is very important one cross of moving averages do not guarantee you will get move of hundreds of pips or thousands of pips many traders blindly believe that if moving average cross each other there will be huge move no it's not the cross simply means the value of the moving average increase or decrease that's all what it means and how do you use this value is how uh, um, good or bad you would be able to work with moving average you need to understand that many traders really they they, they say, blah 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 look but this just crossed or this just so what that means the value changed that makes sense of course it will cross right so so what <laughs> right if you drive your car and you see a block you will turn right or left right that there will be cross you would cross road somehow right you would find the other way same with price if the price don't move in one way and the price the value changes it will go other way that's what the cross means it will not make any sense to believe that it will automatically mean there will be a, a rally or not look how many crosses you have how many empty crosses right and that's why at the beginning i said that um the moving average is wonderful in trends less in consolidation so it's very very you under, important you understand that and the last one and my favorite multi time frame usage of moving average exactly like anything else of the technical world will help you find more reliable trends to trade what do i mean when you find situations when several time frames two three or even four like in this example show you the same direction the same slope of moving averages you know that every time you have this synchronization you have better chances so when you see weekly daily and four hour are basically heading to the same direction you know you would be able to find better opportunities and if you have anything like that where the direction is different that means you are in some period of a correction once it changes down again and becomes bearish your chances to see that continue riding are increasing okay understand so basically see think about it this way the moving average slope you understand what it means right where the direction of the moving average when all of them are pointing to the same direction your chances to get a more reliable trend and trade there are bigger than to try to try and to figure out oh so if this is going down but this is going down when each of them is going to cross you can't know that okay uh, and think about it logically because right now for example we cross through this uh, um, the moving average and the slope changes on the very short term now look at this this way the daily distance from its moving average which is the the average price that's your distance 
right? And if the shorter time frames change again, there is a good chance you are going for some kind of correction. So there is a good chance you are going to see something like that. Okay, that's pretty much what it what it means and how you could use that in your favor when you have the longer terms and the shorter terms give you the same direction or when they vary. So you definitely will want to trade when they are synchronized. Why? Because it simply would give you better chances to ride to ride a more reliable trend. Okay? So that's basically all about the moving averages. I hope uh, I cleaned some doubts for you and um, you discovered some extra new value. If you know everything, then of course, um, that uh, there is no way I can help you. Um, so um, that's pretty much it about the moving average. I would like to invite you to join me and my team in, my li in our live trading rooms for the ultimate trading experience every single day. Uh, we are waiting for you in Traders Academy Club. Uh, and this is the link to follow. And of course, uh, if you are not yet with us in our free Telegram channel, just go below in the description and you would find the link to join. You can find their education, videos, trading ideas, and many, many, many more valuable things. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Vladimir Bakov from Traders Academy Club, and I'll see you soon with other videos. Ciao for now.